How are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network as we welcome you back. It's National Signing Day as we are in the offseason heading towards season number five here of our Pitt Panthers football dynasty. And the Panthers are looking to make their final signings of the recruiting period. And all three of Pat Narduzzi's big targets do decide to commit to the Panthers. Defensive end Mike Lee, receiver Jordan Pugh, and right tackle Nick Harris all decide to commit to the Panthers. Of course, there's a number of different players that Narduzzi showed some interest in that decided to commit elsewhere. Fred Barrett, Brian Easley, especially committing to a couple of rival schools, uh, though they didn't get uh, official offers from Narduzzi. It's still going to be interesting. Uh, for example, the West Virginia Pitt will be playing them in just a few seasons. But some big name prospects did go elsewhere. Kajai Goodwin, 84 overall cornerback, went to Florida State. Easley and Barrett, as well as Andrew. Cooper all stayed at local schools. Billy Thomas to South Carolina. Chris Gonzalez went to Ole Miss. But the Panthers did get the guys they were focused on. Nick Harris, 67 overall tackle. Mike Lee, defensive end. And Jordan Pugh, wide receiver, do commit to the Panthers. And that gives us our Pitt Panthers 2020 recruiting class finalized. 13 signings. There were technically 14 available scholarships with Calvin Edwards transferring and Paris Ford leaving early. There were originally 12 seniors plus the two guys that left the team. So 14 available scholarships, 13 were signed, which just gives the Panthers a little bit more wiggle room going into next year's recruiting period. But this is the point where, for those of you guys that want to have a piece of this particular dynasty, this is where you can get involved. From the 13 recruits that are available there, if you want to become one of these recruits, and of course, this is all contingent on, you know, having to put them in and things like that so i'm not going to make any 100 percent promises but if you go back through the prior seasons pretty much everybody that does leave a uh, a desire does get put into the dynasty and so what i want you to do in the comments if you are interested you can see all of our recruits as part of our recruiting class here leave the name of the player that you would like to rename the name that you would like them to change to the gear that you would like them to wear the number that you would like them to wear. Now, keep in mind that the first number choice you may want might be taken. So, as always, put a second number choice as well. That would be your preference if the first one isn't available. And then finally, give them a little bit of a backstory. I like trying to throw those things in. I'll always bring in, you know, where the player's from, maybe some interesting facts about them. And I'll try and do that even a bit more as we get further into the dynasty and we don't have any real players with real backstory anymore and it's all players that we've recruited through this dynasty i love to bring in those backstories i'm going to even go back to the guys that are already on the team that we've recruited to make sure i'm incorporating those as we go forward but that's what i want from you guys in the comments if you want to become one of these recruits you have the opportunity to do so leave name gear number and backstory in the comments and we'll give you an opportunity to possibly become one of our recruits. Now, like, you like I said before, you can see who we signed. We sent six players on the offensive side of the ball, uh, 12 players on the defensive side of the ball. You'll actually notice it says we have 18 commitments. Now, we only brought in 13 guys that I actually offered scholarships to and signed. Five different players, as we take a look at our full recruiting class here, five players did sign as preferred walk-ons. So they'll be part of the practice squad, but they're not going to be on our roster uh overall but you can see we brought in a ton of guys in the espn top 100 bill butler 14th ranked prospect in all the country uh pew was 35 powell was 40 two top quality receivers they're both five stars fisher 61 uh 61st jacob 76 lee 83rd overall and scott whaley 96 now the thing is scott whaley and billy jacobs i think those are the two of the most underrated prospects in the entire country billy jacobs i think is going to be a star for us he's going to be a starting outside corner more than likely right off the bat you can see some of the guys we brought in uh Thompson, uh, the four-star wide receiver, he's one of those guys I talked about that was a preferred walk-on that decided to to choose to be come to the Panthers, but he's not going to get a spot on our roster, unfortunately. Neither are any of these guys down towards the bottom. The couple of two-stars, Davis, Cody, Whaley, and Mills, they'll all end up being cut from the roster, which will trim things back to the 69 recruits or 69 players that we had originally planned for. But a very good recruiting class for us. Obviously, we get a little bit of help by just adding a couple of more players. So we end up with the number six six recruiting class in all of the country 
Uh, first went to national champions LSU, and look at the players they racked in. Eight four-stars and four five-stars. Just a ridiculous recruiting class for the Tigers. They did very well there. We actually ended up uh, sixth and seventh with Penn State, so interesting to see our local rival in the recruiting ranks there. But other than that, it's pretty much a lot of blue buds here at the top. Texas A&M, interestingly, got four five-stars. Um, but then did have a lot of two two stars and three stars beyond that that led them to be ninth. But it was LSU, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Texas, Florida State. I mean, that's big name programs right there that you're seeing across your screen. And as you take a look through, uh, and it'll be interesting for Texas A&M because just think about it, they did hire our former offensive coordinator and former Ohio head coach Matt Canada to be their head coach. So he's going to have a lot of talent at his disposal. Alabama, a little bit of a weaker recruiting class for them. They did get three five-stars, but they have the number 13 overall recruiting class in the country. You can see Miami down there at 18, NC State at 21. Good recruiting class for Navy at 22, USC down at 26, which is a bit surprising because of how good of a season they had finishing. I think it was t uh, 11 and 2 on the year. So as we take a look, we'll just go through about the top 50 recruiting classes just so you can get a look at who brought in the best prospects around the country. Marshall at 49. That's a team we have uh, the back half of a home and home scheduled with for this upcoming season. Now we take a look at the top recruits around the country and I want to give you some background here. NCAA, the thing with the recruiting classes they generate, they don't typically generate any stars out the bat. Like the guys that are the top rated recruits are usually 80 overall, 81 overall, and they just don't start right away, which in college football today, there are guys that come in as true freshmen and are starters on their college football teams. And so I tried to replicate that. I created 15 custom prospects. You can see a few of them right there, the top six or seven prospects on the entire board, and they have very high overalls. Uh, Trevor Savage, the, the quarterback or Taylor said whatever his name is, the quarterback there, he's a 91 overall. I think he was the best one that I created. But Kelly Colio from Hawaii signed with LSU, five-star quarterback. He's an 88 or 89 overall. Caden Mitchell, the halfback, he actually signed with Purdue, interestingly enough, 89 overall player. Carter Ford, 86 overall quarterback that decides to sign with Georgia. Darion Williams Jr. that signs with Alabama, he's an 88 overall running back. So a lot of these guys... If they're not outright starting here in Season 1, they're going to be competing for playing time. Obviously, it's a little bit harder. Uh, Jacob Babineau signed with UCLA from Louisiana. So, interesting, he goes out west. But he's an 84 overall outside linebacker. Fantastic player. And the thing with those recruits... Like I said, if they're not going to start right away, they'll be starting by their sophomore year or at least competing per, for a position. Anybody that's not a quarterback pretty much uh, I think is in line to play right away. The quarterbacks may run into a little bit of trouble. Uh, Carter Ford at Georgia I think is behind a couple of guys. Uh, Kelly Colio at LSU is going to be battling with Leslie Scott Jr. Uh, for the starting position uh, at Oklahoma. I think uh, Savage is, if he's not ready to start, he'll be, same thing, right, fighting for a job with those other players. So if we take a look at the guys I did create, uh, Kawanoe Kulikolio goes to LSU, 89 overall already, spectacular player. He's more of a pocket passer type guy, as is Savage, who can run a little bit. Carter Ford's a quicker guy who can move around, big body, going to be a very, very impressive player. At halfback, Caden Mitchell goes to Purdue. He is lightning fast. 4 3 40. I think he's got 95 speed or something of that nature. He's going to be incredible. Donation Lanou stays at home. He's from NOLA, decides to go to LSU. He's, I think, 84 overall or something like that. Antoine Burton Horton is 81 overall. He's going to be at Oklahoma State, potentially starting right away from year one. Uh, Darian Williams Jr. is going to be in Alabama, 88 overall. He's going to be competing for some playing time, though they do still have Josh Jacobs there in Bama. Jacoby Sutton goes to uh, LSU. He's an incredible, I think, 88 overall receiver already as a true freshman out of South Carolina. He's going to be fantastic. Jonathan Payton, uh, fantastic receiver out of Florida. Jordan Adams, I think, is 83 or 84 overall. He goes to Nebraska. He's going to be very good. Jaquan Ware, five-star defensive end, 84 overall. He's going to LSU. Jacob Babineau goes to UCLA. I think he's 84 or 85 overall. He's going to be a fantastic player for the Bruins from day one and then a couple of cornerbacks we went after one of them it was Kajai Goodwin 84 overall corner for Florida State he's gonna be an absolute stud for them we wanted to get him to come in we end up fourth on his board unfortunately and he does stay in Florida for Florida State and then Jason McIntyre I think he's 81 overall cornerback decides to go to uh, stay stay at home from River Riverside just goes out towards the coast a bit and goes to USC and he's gonna really help the Trojans out so those are just some interesting recruits I thought you guys would like to see because it's going to make things a bit more spicy to potentially see some some freshmen and players like that having an impact on the college football landscape. I thought that would mirror 
the college football landscape as it stands right now uh, a lot closer than the default NCAA recruit generation does. So we'll do something similar going into season five. I'll probably show you them right off the bat just so you can kind of keep an eye on how their recruiting battle goes and changes over time. But like I said, the biggest thing for you guys is you can see our recruiting class that we brought in. If you do want to have an opportunity to try to become one of these recruits, let me know in the comments who you'd like to become, what the name would be, number, uh, gear, and a little bit of a backstory for them so that we can you know, incorporate that into the dynasty should you be uh, able to become that recruit. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love all the participation that usually comes with this video. So I'm looking forward to see what comments you guys leave and, and what renames we may end, up, may end up getting here in this offseason. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hail to Pitt. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.